ragged bunch shuffle slowly towards the gate. He says, hey, I wish I'd been a farmer. I hear they're treated like prophets now. I would like to help if you choose to accept us. So there are three adults, two children, and one elder. They're bringing fish, basic tools, clothing, and firewood. All good things. I'm going to accept them. Yes, we're bringing them in. Hey, guys, welcome back. It's uh, Surviving the Aftermath. Hope you're having a great day today. We got... Uh, just we just uh survived uh, a relatively mild winter i think I think, it, I think it went okay a lot of these guys are looking for tools they're just going to go to the shed real quick and get a bunch and also bring us some tools supposedly they had some with them we're up to eight basic tools seven clothing and i think we need to get started on that stuff but pretty quickly too i'm also building yet another shanty so this is going to upgrade most of our housing at this point and uh we we, we didn't space out the roads and stuff accordingly uh, very well uh, all my measurements were bad, right? So uh, I think I'm going to use, again, these two spaces will be occupied by other structures or other buildings, maybe some monuments, whatever it is that makes them happy. We'll probably put stuff like that in there uh, instead. Now that we are done with winter, we can probably upgrade these buildings. So I can upgrade it to a boosted burner. And this will also uh, result in, it'll direct the heat more uh, effective, efficiently as well. Uh, so we can get more heat to these different buildings. So I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one. Now, it's 30 metal to upgrade each one of these, so it's, they're not cheap, but I think near the... We've made a new discovery. I think, yeah, I think near the, uh, the, the, the medical tents and stuff is a pretty good spot to do it. So let's go ahead and do this one, at least. That gets rid of it for now, but it will get upgraded, and uh, we'll go from there. I think I'll do this one next after that, and then we'll probably start upgrading this tent and stuff when we need to as well. We just took some more people. That means our emergency shelter has four to six, but those four will move into this shanty when it is done. So that tells me that I have six spare housing right now, which is uh, pretty good. I'm also, I don't have any surplus in water, but I also don't have a deficit. I'm, I'm actually doing perfect. So we're going to leave this unstaffed and I'm going to add one more person to fishing and let's have... Uh, scrapyard's pretty good. Lumber yard. We're cutting down the trees in here so we can have more housing. And then we're going to go ahead and keep scrapping this for 188. Okay. Just making sure I'm getting myself caught up. We, we're coming from a live stream, right? So uh, it's a little bit of an interesting twist, uh, interesting way of doing it to kind of com combine two things. But hopefully you guys didn't mind the live streaming portion. I enjoy live streaming very much so uh, i am going to be doing a lot more of it and we've just recently moved everything after being a, a twitch partner for nearly five years um i went ahead and moved everything to be streaming here on youtube so a lot more live streams coming on youtube now too uh, oh, so that's a very new thing okay so we have protective clothing here and we, if we put the motel in another place for us to be able to get protective clothing once every 12 hours i think with this being done we kind of don't need to create clothes if we just make a couple of outposts we will have four protective clothing made without labor or any resource cost every day we will have four of these if i do one here um yeah one here and then one over in this other area i think it was not not here over here yeah yeah right over here where vegas is mission complete right there's nothing in this area absolutely nothing but yeah so uh we'll get an outpost in over here and we'll also get one in over there and that that's a those are really cool really cool combo there to be able to do that of course go ahead and have vegas investigate this we're going to take hakeem and uh i want to go over to the main quest here and continue that so this is beyond tomorrow found something First location is a long trek away from the nearest city. The structure on this site is in even worse condition than the one before. The pillars supporting the building are partially melted. Ruins and deep bomb-made craters. Uh, yeah, ruins and deep bomb-made craters on the ground tell the story of how this place faced its end during the Secession Wars. In those endless wars that were waged after governments fell. Uh, the structure seems to be made mostly of high-grade materials, hinting that whoever was funding this project had power and influence over the old world, or in the old world. Okay, so it looks like I mean, Hakim's not much of a fighter, so we're not going to be doing anything like that. However, I could have him... He does 350 research for 12 hours, so it will only take him 10 hours to get all of this research. 
That's fantastic. They're going to have you gonna work, work your way there next, Hakeem. Uh, and then Kate is sitting here with 7 AP. But we're going to have her hold position because yep. we've got uh, our new buddy, Pinkman, here. He's on his way over here. And then the two of these are going to take out these bandits. And then I'll probably have them just move over and take these guys out as well. That should, I think, satisfy the side quest. Yeah, that should clear the side quest, I think. Okay. So that's what we're working on on the map. If you uh, didn't see the live stream part and you're like, man, I got to get caught up. Okay, let me get you caught up. Research-wise, we've kind of been going down a variety of different trees. For resources, we've unlocked metal scavenging, reclaiming materials, and crowbars. So we're able to scavenge metal and other types of stuff, like plastic and stuff, a little bit more efficiently. We've been working our way through for infrastructure and have arrived at solar power, but I don't really have a, a good way to... Uh, get the power and move it yet. I don't have any of that yet, but I'm moving down this path so that we can get to energy storage at least. That should probably be a pretty good thing. Um, it also allows me to do pavement, which lets me do paved roads and, and improve people's movement speeds. Provided, of course, I have concrete, which like resource-wise, we have to go down quite a bit before we get to the concrete scavenging. For food, we unlocked farming, of course. That was in the video before. Uh, I am considering getting into communal eating here. But once you do that, you start to consume a lot of firewood. So I need to have a good supply of firewood before we keep doing that. Uh, and then a lot of what we did in the stream was going down the safety tree. We got guardians, extra nurses, medical training, as well as our frontier outposts. And we're working on getting the reinforced gate, which just finished uh, when I started recording this video. Um, so that finished during this video, actually. So we have reinforced gate researched, and we could put resources into doing that. Uh, doing that, construction costs... Oh, no construction costs required. Very good, then. I guess if there's no construction cost required, we'll just do it. It looks like we have a reinforced gate now. Okay, then. Building operational. And we can have three people in here now, and it should be, I think, yeah, 65% defense. So we're more defended than we were before. Fantastic. Okay, good. Uh, what else? We've gotten raided a couple of times. That's happened. We're upgrading our tents to shanties. That's been happening too. Almost done with that. We got through a winter during the stream. And uh, so we had these different burners going on. This one's getting upgraded to a boosted burner. Uh, but we had different burners and stuff being upgraded. And I think that's kind of it. I, I think I sort of caught you up. Oh, one last thing, I suppose, if you didn't watch the stream segment, is we've got a couple of outposts on the map. This one here is a research outpost that we've created um, because we got frontier outposts for the research. It, as long as we make the outpost in a section, we can take advantage of the resources that are in that. Namely, it's this observatory, which gives us 25 research every 12, uh, every 12 hours. We've got this research outpost allowing us to do it on this one. And we've also got another outpost. Uh, I know we did two of them. I know we did two of them. I just don't remember where the other one is. I feel so bad. No, we didn't do two research outposts. Okay, we did two outposts, but not two research outposts. That's why I was confused. Uh, we did this research one here, and then we also did one in this urban area, but this is a survivor outpost, which allows us to sort of collect, if you will, some survivors and get them to our colony. Um, so this one's kind of a persistent thing. I like it. Okay, so there, now you're caught up. Okay, good. Uh, so it looks to me like Shanty's done. Good. We need to get to this attack area here. And we're not quite ready to do that until uh, the Pinkman, right? Yeah. Pinkman needs to get to that destination. So I have to wait for that. Now, this is depleted. I don't think I want to have this move anywhere now. This, this storage here. We just don't have any resources in the area. And it's too far to walk. So I'm just going to leave it here. And um, I mean, I, I'm not going to demolish it. But I'm just going to like leave it there. Yeah. And then uh, for food storage, we're still getting the berries. Yeah. So we got these scout towers. And the scout towers, this one says critically damaged. I could repair this. Uh, or I could just de demolish it instead of putting more resources into it. I think if I demolish it, I can put the outpost even further out. So I kind of want to, I kind of want to do that too. So we'll take the scout tower. Um, if you're not familiar with the scout tower, let's just read it real quick. It says the simple towers scout their surroundings and remove any fog that covers the land, expands the buildable area and uncovers new resource deposits. They can also defend themselves when attacked. 
So they're going to be able to defend themselves too. So I'm going to move this out to, let's say, here. And we'll uncover some more of the fog out that way. And then I think I'm going to tear this one down, probably. Uh, we can upgrade these to guard posts and stuff if we want to as well. Um, I'm going to tear them down. And then we're going to just build out even further. So I'm going to go like maybe, maybe out a little bit here, like right here. Okay. And then I think we should put a guard post in right here next to the gate because if there are any bandits that come in they are gonna they're gonna attack us from here right so uh if we put a guard post in right oh they do reveal the land don't they yes they do maybe put one right in the middle of town i don't know I, I i like the idea of the guard post being like right by the gate because if they get through the gate then they're gonna we're gonna have to fight them and then that's when this that's when this outpost here gets kicked in or this this guard post kicks in so I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this. Yeah, we're going to build that right there. And that just, again, gives us one extra thing. So when, as soon as they bust through the gate and they come through here, we start shooting from the guard tower. And then we, we might upgrade the other, the other scout towers and stuff. We might upgrade these to guard towers later as well. Mission complete. Okay, Vegas reveals a new area. And it looks like he's going to be able to get us some electronics. 31 electronics and it's completely free like there's no damage as well as the antibiotics he doesn't scavenge things very fast at all he's very slow at that but he's also like the only one in this area so i might as well right i think it's one of those might as well things so why don't i have you scout this area first just to make sure then we'll have you next turn come up here get this or maybe we'll have you get this first um and then head back like on your way back but we definitely want outposts here and here because those protective clothing right it doesn't take us resources if we can do this without taking resources that's amazing now for research wise i've got 143 which isn't a whole lot uh but it might be enough to do something like shelving here for example uh capacity for garages goes up and eh, i don't necessarily need that uh panel coating durability for solar panels i don't have any solar yet but that's not a bad thing could be okay we could also maybe do apprentices really quick gives us extra work slots um but we don't even have handicraft yet do we no we don't have handicraft yet either um uh, i think that's a good thing to get tool shop and tailors especially the tool shop if we're gonna have the outpost on the map with the protective clothing then we don't necessarily need the tailor at least not as much the tool shop for sure i think maybe this scavenger teams I think we'll do this. That means we have to go through trash evaluation first, but that's okay. So we'll we'll head in and do that. And remember, we're getting persistent. Every 24 hours, we're getting 50 science because of those out because of that outpost. It's very nice. All right, I'm gonna get some roads in here, and I'm just gonna lay them kind of this direction, and then maybe go along this way. Mostly, it's just to provide an extra road for this guy for the for the sensor the towers and stuff, so they can get back to camp a little bit quicker. Uh, they're pretty easy roads to build same thing with this i'm gonna have to cut down some trees to do this but i don't think it will impede the abilities for that hunter anyway so uh, we're gonna head down about let's say this far takes down a few trees and then i think this side here we're gonna cut forward or we're gonna cut towards this and then go this way with it all the way to the pile and then over and that'll be like some extra roads that we have for later as well i plan to do a lot of stuff in this area um, because it's just this barren land and there's a lot of different piles in here if you maybe haven't been paying attention or haven't uh you know watched all the videos or anything yet um we have so much plastic like a ton of plastic we have seven piles of plastic one two three four five six seven piles of plastic very close but we only have two major piles nope wrong one here two major piles of the metal it's here and then there's another pile right here and uh those are the only two piles we know of so like getting to metals is gonna be tricky um hopefully once the scout towers are done doing their thing they'll be able to uncover more and we can go out and get those resources but yeah that's gonna be messed up <laughs> so anyway the two scout towers are done now are rebuilt and then this guard post here is getting pretty close we're researching trash evaluation right now heading down to here i might 
pause this and like not do scavenger teams like i might reset the queue if you will just let this keep going um and then i think after that i'm gonna shift gears a little bit and work on battery storage i think this is what i want to focus on after trash evaluation i don't i'm not sure yet so i'm not gonna like do anything major here but um the reason for this is because i would really like to start cleaning up cleaning up this stuff right all the pollution piles are making people sick and stuff i'd really like to like put an end to that if i could uh we do have two medics at the moment which is pretty oh my god well speaking of medics holy well that's not very nice <laughs> uh you know actually instead of repairing this don't repair this i think instead of repairing this tent i'm gonna demolish it and then this one here uh i'm gonna leave that alone but i think i'm gonna demolish that one instead we don't really need it we have the emergency shelter here as long as that's repaired um but again i'm gonna use this for something else and um solar panels can fit in these little areas right so i think maybe we'll set up some like some solar panels in here if we can uh, it should fit really nicely in this little area along with maybe some bushes and stuff so you know we could put like one two solar panels right in here if we want to and then we also have transformers uh, energy to effective areas so we could also put a transformer in here in this little area and then that could provide power to this whole area too so lots of different options but we really can't do much with power until we have the battery storage so that's the main thing i'm focusing on now all right we're gonna get hakeem to go right there get us the research and then these two are ready to fight What's up? now the bandit these bandits are actually quite strong so they do five damage per bandit and there are 10 of them so the whole group has a total of 100 health because health per bandit is 10. now we're going to be able to do 12 damage and Your command. uh 25 damage so we're able to do 37 damage to them and we have a combined health uh -huh. of like 80 and 90 so 170 so like we have 70 percent more health than they do but they actually do more damage than we do and uh the interesting thing about the way they've shifted the, the balance here is that our guys will always do consistent damage to them but they will do decreasing damage to us because it's damage per bandit so as we kill the bandits it will drop their damage output as well um but we will always do this the highest damage uh until we are dead so i think what i might do here because there are two piles there are two camps and they're both equally strong i don't think i'll be able to fight them both with two so i think what i'm going to do instead ready is i'm going to wait for hakeem to be done with over here and i'm going to have him help and you know that's what i was going to do but now i, I really like hakeem just doing what he's doing you know he's got really great scavenging he can go through here i think instead i'm gonna change my mind i might regret this later but i'm gonna send aramis here who's got 90 health and he does 20 damage on attack i'm gonna send him to the world instead so we got nobody at home right now but i can now get I'm you to come on up and help us fight this oh did i start wait i didn't want to start the battle did i already start that battle Whoa. I don't remember starting that battle, but I must have. Did I What's just up? click that by accident? Well, get in there. <laughs> I, I think we'll win this. I do suspect that we'll win. Mission complete. Oh, he's already done. That's sick. All right, never mind. Get in here, team. Go. Engaging hostile. He did that quick. What? I mean, 350 science points per 12 hours is insane. So, yeah, he did that very quick. He's got a lot of stuff on him, too. I want him to come back to camp. 47 components. All right, so we'll have them fight that, right? And then Vegas is over here revealing things. All done. Revealing nothing of importance, I guess. He's only going to scavenge at 50% speed, so he's getting two antibiotics a day. It will take him seven days to get all of these. Yikes. I think three days for these is better. And then maybe once we get the cars and stuff, we can come out and get the antibiotics. We've got a lot of medicine, so... I'm gonna have you get the electronics okay. instead instead of the antibiotics all right 
So Finley and uh, Robin are having some health difficulties, and uh, yeah, like mutations, radiation. I, I want to start clearing out this discovery. this stuff, right? So going along that note, in order to do that, I need to get to environmental stuff, which is in this menu, and it's hazmat engineering here. So I need to get to the environmental station, and this is what you use to reduce pollution. You can also do it a little bit faster if you upgrade it. But here's the thing. Um, this building requires electricity. And so I need to have electricity, of course, in order to run this. So it makes no sense for me to get this until I have a good source of electricity. So for that reason, I think we're going energy storage first. And if we can start storing the power, then we can start looking at how to use it. We'll start generating it and stuff a little bit too. There are also storms that can wipe out your power grid and getting a whole lot of batteries started is gonna be a, a great idea to help combat against that too. Is there any like decorations or anything I can do here? I really wanna unlock more decorations. But I feel like, is that is that in here at all? Like maybe community? Interior walls, home improvements. Improved shanties would be nice. Um, durability. Does this affect shanties? It looks like it does. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Might look at that. Home improvements is good. I want more happiness inside these. And then is it remembrance? The memorial, shrine, botanical garden, public house, proper burial. Moving pictures, knowledge. Yeah, there's like, where are all of the decorations? You know, I thought there were other decorations we could use here. Unless that was end zone. I might be thinking of a different game. It's not uncommon for me to mix up games. <laughs> if I'm playing them like at the same time, usually it's more common, but uh, they, they do have a common, like, they do have a, a similar theme to them, so to speak. Look at their health. They're getting. Oh my gosh, their health. Their health. Orders. Hakeem. Hakeem, get in there. Can't complete the order. Hakeem, get in there. Hold on. I need this little circle to fill. And stop. Hakeem. What's up? Get in there. Go Help in. them. You. Yes. Go. Roger. One more turn and you're in. And then we can have all four of you attack this base. And that's probably enough to, yeah, to win. So right now there's only four of them left. So they're doing 20 damage combined. But like, look at his health. He's 20 health. Like, I need you to to not be here anymore, right? I need you to retreat. Retreating affects the balance of power and will inflict extra damage to the specialist. Oh no. Oh no, dude. He is so wounded. He's so wounded. Yes extra damage they're only doing 20 per turn but like are they doing 20 to everybody per turn hopefully they're spreading it out like What's 20 damage is spread out amongst them and he'll be fine but that is some severe damage right now i'm not i'm not liking that at all harrison's now an adult welcome harrison happy to have you with us harrison uh, you know, our colony is getting bigger. It's 36 people. I feel like maybe we should look into getting additional water storage. Maybe a tower even. And then I can actually, if I can figure out where I want the cookhouse. Which I was thinking like right here. Uh, I will need to move this building. Probably going to move the emergency shelter like somewhere. I don't know. I, I don't know where to move it. It doesn't have to be in the major neighborhood. But scientist at the gate seems cool. There she is. Look at this. 233. That's a that's pretty good. It's only for four like meat and stuff. Iodine pills are very helpful, but we'd have to give up parts, and I really want those, so no. And I don't really want to give up tools. That's all my tools. So de we're definitely giving out this. So nice. I get the research. That feels really good. Bye. He is so wounded right now, man. I'm, I'm genuinely worried about Pinkman here. 20 health. What's up? These guys have got to go down, dude. They've got to go down. Oh my gosh. Stop shooting Pinkman! 
shoot. Stop it. Leave Pinkman alone. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't die. We've made a new discovery. Energy storage is complete. Okay. I want to see what does it take to to build those. So 10 components. I don't have any. I need people to come back to give us the components. But this is okay. I like the battery rack. And then no, like last time I had like a dedicated energy area. I still think that's a great idea because you can protect it, right, with the towers and stuff later. So I still like the idea of having a dedicated battery area. And I think I might put the tower hub like right here. Or oh, sorry, the power hub. Put the power hub like right here. Because this is where all the industrial stuff is going to be. So the majority of... The majority of our power needs are going to originate here. So having the batteries close by is a nice convenience. I think uh, we'll start it maybe over here. And then also, once we get that started, we can also get the solar panels stuff going too. So um, let's say... Actually, no, I don't like this location. Cancel that really quick. Let's have... Should we do it like a... Should we do like a like a road? Maybe put the road out this way, and then we can look at having the batteries be maybe along this road instead. Like, we'll do two battery hubs, and then on this side, we could put, like, the solar. Is that, that's that a better, is that a better plan? Something like that, maybe, right? And then uh, we could put a transformer and stuff to, like, connect them all up. The transformer can maybe be like right here. I'm not. I don't remember how the transformers work. Right there was a there was a big old question mark about that before from before, about like how do they how exactly do they work? Um, I I mean I know we solved that. I know we answered that question before, but um, I don't remember. I I want to say that the battery simply needs to be in range of the circle, right? But uh, I think the the question we had was. Do transformers have to be in the range of other transformers or is it just their circles need to touch i, I wasn't sure of that um and I, maybe they changed the description uh transformers distribute energy within their effective area which can be chained right it can be chained but it does the area need to touch another area or does the area need to touch another transformer i think it was the area needs to touch another transformer i believe that's what it was they're dead and pinkman is still alive excellent news Excellent news. We, won the battle. we have won the battle, and Pinkman goes in to claim his spoils. The first plant is secured after a scuffle. The machinery has definitely been tampered with, though it's impossible to tell to what end. All right, Pinkman, you are going back to the colony with My your pleasure. 15 health. All right. Now, Kate has quite a bit of health left. She can proceed over to the other okay. one. Um, Hakeem, you're gonna... You have a lot of valuable stuff on you. You're gonna return to the colony. Moving. And, uh, yes. Artemis here. Aramis. Yeah. You do 20 damage. That's pretty good. You're gonna go help Kate. Can do. So, we have, uh... Pinkman is the one that does a lot of damage, though. Right? Your command? Yeah, he's the one that does, t like, 25 damage. So, I kinda... I don't know, man. Yep. 20 and 12. 32 yes. damage. Yeah, they are, they're not gonna do very well. I mean, I think they might win, but Kate's going to get very wounded if I try that. So I need to bring more people over to help out What's with up? that. Definitely. Uh, I have one day until I can recruit another one. But I have 955 uh, for money, so I could potentially just buy one, you know? I could hire one. I think it's higher. And then once the components show up, there's 47 of them coming, and we'll take five there... Uh, five here. Yeah, so 15 on this side and another 20 on this side. That's 35 of them. So we'll be able to... Well, th yeah, 35 of them. And then we can have the environmental area. The environmental place can be right here. Oh, what's this? Rats are eating our food. Avoid this with more durable crops and protected fields. Aww. Gross. Kill them. Protected fields? You should be protecting your field, Manuel. Manuel. Protect your field. Have pride in your work, man. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. Berries are depleted. Let's take a look. There's only four left in there. 
I should probably move that work area. And the work area is going to move to over here, looks like. Yep. So as soon as this is gone, only two left. Uh, is that it? I want to, I want to stay out. I, I want to be optimal. Okay. Move when you, when I need to, I don't think there's anybody in there right now. No, oh, there's, there's one in there. Yeah. So there's, there's basically no berries left over here. I'll just move it. I'll just shift it over here. Yeah. This, this is 138 of them. We'll shift that over. These berries are gone now. No big deal. Aramis. You need. All right. Now, I can't tell if I really want to go after this or not. 90 HP. And Kate is wounded with 34 meds. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't think I can do it. I think I'm going to absolutely get right. these people back to camp. Hakeem could maybe help with 9 Dan. Nah, he's, he's too wounded. Okay. Never mind. I need another specialist. That's, that's the long and short of it, guys. I need another specialist. I think... With this power setup before, or this power setup the way it's going to be, we can now make sure that we get hazmat engineering going. And then by the time that power is set up, we should be able to build the environmental station, which takes components as well. How many? Doesn't say, but yeah, we're gonna need that. And then the waste dump as well. But if we set that up right here, I assume it fits right here. If we set it up right here, then it can access all of these main points that we want it to access very quickly. And then it can also start on moving out this way to clear those later on as well. I think this is a great spot for that. So I'm counting on putting it here. And then it's also really close to the power and everything too. We're going to want to also get in this area a maintenance depot. So when I figure out how big the environmental station is, I'm hoping it fits in this little area here. Not really that little. Uh, we could put the maintenance center on the opposite side, like right here. And then this will cover that environmental area. Plus it will cover the, the power resources and stuff as well. And then we can keep this stuff maintained. And it looks like it's also gonna cover the other two buildings back here. So good. Oh, also I think you can, um, can't you make the work area larger? Left control, reset. Yeah, I can make it larger too, just a little bit. But that's a good idea. That's that's something we should definitely do too. We'll go like this, make that work area even bigger too. And with a larger work area, you usually need more people to cover it. I think for this, it's not that big of a deal, but when we get over here and there's a lot of little things in the big area, then we'll want to um, get more people there too. Cool, new specialist, scientist. Arrgh. Okay, I mean, good scavenging speed. I was kind of hoping for somebody who can fight. Uh, I'll take what I can get. I'll recruit you. I'll take what I can get. Um, and actually, this scientist... Hmm. Now I'm wondering if I should make Pinkman. He's a good fighter. Yep. I'm wondering if I can get... Roger. Like, where should I send that scientist, right? Like, if I set him up in a camp over here, that's even more science. 15... Right, but I was thinking if I set him up with a uh, a camp over here and I start getting those clothes, that'd be awesome. Hmm. But a scientist that's able to do you know great science work as well as good scavenging, I, eh? I don't know. I mean, that's a good sky. That's a good scavenging percentage. Definitely want you on the world map. And we'll see. So Shoot. you are going to go. Let's actually have you go for the iodine pills for now. We don't actually have those, and it'd be nice to have them. And then Pinkman, yes. keep going. I know you're going to move at the end of your turn, but I really wish they would move at the beginning of their turns. I really wish they would. Are you healing? No, you don't heal until you come back home. Yes. Yeah. So, again, very hard fight. <clears throat> Not really for us. Another very hard fight. Eight damage per bandit there. Um... But there's only five bandits, so half the number of bandits, but a more than 50% increase in their damage per bandit. Hmm. Balance checks out. Speaking of which, Vegas. Ready. Not balanced. You're taking forever. <laughs> Hurry up, sir. Hurry up, sir. All right, so as soon as Hakeem returns, 
That's the determining factor, or all we're waiting for is that. Everything else is delivered, right? Everything else has been delivered. Yep. Well, almost. Got a couple of metal sheets there and you go, but we're going to have great power output here. Good batteries. And then probably at the start of the next video, we will start uh, getting rid of uh, all the pollution and stuff. Now, it says we're low on tools and we're going to get low on clothing here too, pretty quick too. But I haven't started with all that stuff yet because we've been bringing it back from yes. the map. We are, however, going to have a hard time doing that from now on since we've kind of done everything on the map already. So when he, Hakeem's coming in with uh, what looks to be 20, 26 tools, including 11 very durable ones, like really good ones. So he's coming in with a lot of tools and the components. So as soon as he's in, you know, basically this thing fills up. We don't have to deal with tools for a while. But after that load, that's when oh, things are going to get a lot more challenging in terms of yes. being able to sustain clothing yep. and food. So at that point, then I'm going to go after the research for, I believe it's resources. And it's uh, handicraft. Yeah. Tool shop, tailors, apprentices, etc. Then we start getting that. Then we start making our own from there. This guy, the guard. Look at his. Look at this guy. He's freaking awesome. He's got a crossbow. Got to get him a shotgun, right? Got to get him a weapon, a gun. A really high quality gun that lasts a long time that we don't have to worry about remaking, right? It's insane how quickly weapons, like really high valuable items, will just deteriorate and no longer be good. I guess that's just the conditions we live in, right? Yeah. Lumber, let's move your move your zone over here, please. Okay, so uh, we can now build additional shanties if we want to. Still got four people living in this, so let's build one more shanty right along the road. Yeah, right along about there. Let's build two more shanties. Why not? We'll just get them all in a row here. Get people in good spaces to live. I probably will get rid of this. Add another shanty right here, and then we have a road that goes between. Probably, I, I don't, I don't know yet. Um, the tenements are are nice because they get that nice overflow. But as long as you have spare housing, you really don't need the temporary housing. This ep this episode brought to you by being very obvious. It's a pastime. I do it. Yeah, here we go. Hakeem, come back, sir. Shoot. Hakeem. All right. Hakeem is back. We have lots and lots of stuff now. Uh -huh. Feels good. Go get the iodine pills. Okay. Tankman, return home. You're almost there. Check. So close. I feel like you guys are yes. kind of wasting my time. Like, I, I could be doing other things. So, why don't I have you, like, search other areas while we're waiting for reinforcements? Your command. Like, there's no reason for me to just sit here and do nothing, right? My pleasure. Let's have those scans happening instead. And Vegas. Ready. My god, dude. Ready. Can I just abandon this? <laughs> still, six more left. It's 22 hours. You poor, poor soul. He's just... I don't know how to pick things up, man. Insufficient construction materials for shanty. That's peculiar. Oh, right. It's the metals. Oh, stop. We probably expended all of the metals on this. And now I need to figure out where yeah, that's the recycler you gotta orient myself to where my colony is now here we go yeah yeah so there's only 50 metal scrap there is there any other oh look at this okay so right more plastic right next to that other metal scrap there is another metal scrap so at least we have two more piles there's another metal scrap over here as well and then the concrete ruins are here concrete rubble tell me this counts as concrete rubble please it apparently does not. God, I was really hoping it would. Like, it looks super cool. Man. I had high hopes for that, man. Oh, well. All right, so we're laying down, stu laying down the stuff. We're getting it built. Solar panels are going in. Batteries are going to start going in. They're all bringing the supplies. And we'll have what we need. And then, now, we can start the environmental station. 25! Stop! Stop. 25 of components. Holy moly. 
Oh, this takes concrete anyway. Shoot. <laughs> oh, that takes concrete anyway. I didn't know. Yeah. All right. Well, that dictates where my research is going then. So we're going uh, right for uh, be resources. Yeah, we got to go straight for concrete. So I guess we're going handicraft anyway. Then bartering concrete. Wow. Okay. I, I, I didn't. I totally overlooked that. That's my fault. I mean, it, it was right there in front of me. I just totally overlooked it while I was looking at it. So, all right. They changed the balance of the game. I got to get used to this. All right. I'm going to leave this video here. We're, we're going to, we're still going to work on getting environmental stuff for sure. Uh, we're one water down. So we want to go ahead and get somebody on this. And then we have this old woman at the gate. Rumors have circulated about a deranged old woman living in the forest, but having her arrive at the gate is a surprise nonetheless. The woman smiles with an almost toothless grin. Interested in riddles? <laughs> Riddle me this. Everything here li lives from me. I am bigger than the biggest, yet every day I disappear. What am I? The sun. The sun. Yeah. Woman's toothless smile grows even wider. Yes, that's it. She reaches into her robes and hands over a basket filled with pills. Uh, of course she does. As soon as the colonist takes the back the basket, she turns around without saying a word and heads back to the woods. 13 iodine pills. Okay, we're going to be good against radiation for quite some time. We're going to have specialized medicine against that stuff. Solar panels are built. I think we're going to probably... Uh, we're going to need to find more components. I don't know if I want to build the second battery. I'm going to put a pause on this. This stuff is pretty much built already, so I'm going to let that finish. But um, that second battery, we're going to put on pause. Those resources are reserved, but I can always cancel this at the moment. It has not started. I can cancel this and get those resources back if I want to. But everything else is going to keep building. So, uh, Because we only have 12 left, and we're going to need a ton of them for their thing. So, uh, Yep, pollution deposits, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm going to leave it here with Hazel losing her hair. Oh no. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope you will. And I also really hope that you'll join me next time for the next episode. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.